be about. So in this class, we are actually going to learn about public speaking. So what do you guys already know about public speaking? And my teacher teaches public speaking. Oh, and what did you teach know. you? What did you learn? Public speaking is very important because it can help you. It can help create a, a more creative side on learning more knowledge. That's right. Absolutely right. So, okay. That's right. You say, uh, you say positive stuff? Yeah, actually, that's, that's absolutely right. And you try to connect with your audience. You say positive stuff and stuff that people are interested in. And a lot of the speakers that aren't very good at public speaking actually don't know how to say things that actually interest other people. Yeah. In my opinion, something that's really important to public speaking is like having eye contact with the audience um you need to speak in a clear voice not too fast or too slow or speaking like a voice of like the voice depending on like um your uh the mood or like the um the the thing of the topic of your presentation and um you're supposed to kind of connect with the audience and make them interested bingo you are absolutely right and that is exactly what we're going to talk about for the next 25 weeks. So uh -huh. let me, yeah. So let me show you, let me share my screen and get a presentation up for you guys. And then we'll, we'll do a little bit more introductions and play some games and talk about what we're actually going to learn. So. First of all, I would like to know your names and I would like to know one interesting thing about yourself. Oh, and when you're telling me these things, I want you to use a nice, loud, excited voice and I want you to try to grab my attention. So who wants to start first? Uh, put all of yourselves on mute and then some of you know how to raise your hands and then I will call on your name. And that should get the echo to go away. All right, so Amy, can you unmute yourself? Um, uh, oh, are we going to do an introduction? Because you're on this like class. Okay. Exactly. My yes. name is Amy Lou, and my teachers somehow like to call me Amy Lou Who, which I think is very, very weird. I am currently in grade three, and I'm about to be in grade four. And and I usually attend many other classes and also also host for many other classes like a teacher. And I also become a student with my with my used to be students. Amazing. And Amy, one thing that I really love about your introduction is you didn't use any filler words. So you didn't use any ums or ers or pauses. Uh, that was very clear and articulate and, and beautifully said. Thank you for sharing, Amy. Ro uh, Rona? Roanna? Roanna. Roanna. Wonderful. If you could give me your name, your age, and one thing you'd like to share with us about yourself. My name is Roanna. I am in grade four and I'm going to grade five. And one interesting fact about me is that I have a dog. Amazing! What kind of dog? He's a Shiba Inu, but he's very stubborn. Oh, Shiba Inus are my favorite. I have a husky puppy named Lila, and she is very crazy and eats everything and causes lots of trouble. Thank like, you so why much. Why does everybody else have a dog but me? My friend has a husky mix that is one year old and it's like as big as this chair I'm sitting on. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Either, okay? All right, and Austin. Nice to meet you, Austin. Can you share with me your name, your age, and an interesting thing about yourself? Oh, uh, my name uh, my name is Austin Lynn, as uh, said in the Zoom thing. And my grade is five and I am eleven years old. And I like to program and code 
most of the time, and I'm currently learning Python and Java language, the programming languages. Amazing. That's awesome. One of the things we're going to have the opportunity to do in this course is actually teach each other about something that we're really interested in. And so maybe you could share with us more about your love of Java and programming. Thank you for sharing and thank you for your clear and slow pronunciation. All right, Caden. My name is Caden. I'm in grade four and I'm going to turn grade five very soon. Some interesting stuff about me is that I like playing soccer and I also like playing video games. Soccer and video games. Amazing. What's your favorite video game? My favorite video game is Roblox, I think. Hola, hola. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. All right. Now let's have Alana. Hi. Hi, Alana. This like uh, the other online class to see if you like the teacher. Please don't do it. Okay. Hi, I'm Alana. I'm in grade five. I'm going to grade six. One thing that I like oh, is to listen. um to spend time with my family or my cat because. I'm sometimes very bored and I just want to play with my cat. That's wonderful. Your cat is so lucky to have you. And Jessica. Hello, my name is Jessica and one of my hobbies is reading. I currently live in Canada. Amazing. And Jessica, what is one interesting fact about yourself? something something that you love to do or a hobby or my name can i introduce myself sure please my name is chong jin i'm in grade three and i i play the cello Wow, the cello. What is your favorite piece to play on the cello, Chen Jin? Musette? What is your favorite musical piece to play on the cello? Uh, musette. Musette. Oh, beautiful. That's awesome. Maybe you can teach us a little bit about the cello in your speeches. Okay, so everyone, what I'd love to do, we've got lots of students here today. So if um, if you didn't have a chance to share yet, then I'd love for you to send me a message and introduce yourself and we'll continue introducing ourselves uh, as we go along, but I want to make sure we have some time for some fun games as well. Okay, so let's move along. And uh, if you could send me an email and tell me more about yourself, I want to get to know each and every one of you really well. So let me tell you a little bit more about what we're going to do for the next 25 weeks. So um, this is a public speaking debate and um, presentation class. So the class objectives are, we're gonna work on finding your voice. And I can hear from everyone who has already spoken that you are very articulate, you're very confident, you're working really hard in school and that you're gonna be really good at this. So this is all about you becoming leaders and becoming uh, and connecting with your with your classmates, with your community and with the world in the things that you love. And a lot of you guys shared with me so many incredible passions from music to golf to teaching Chinese to um, soccer and video games and programming. And that is the purpose of public speaking is to connect and bring your gifts to the world in the most effective ways. So we're also going to work on overcoming fear and those butterflies. Does anyone here get stage fright or butterflies or get nervous when you're speaking in front of the class? Yeah, Owen, oh, you've got your hand raised. Kind of. Uh, I know. I guess stage fright. Stage fright? 
and be this like I'm four years old and yeah and, and, and then when 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 I'm in this age I'm very nervous yeah you know and that is very very common most people actually get stage fright and in fact I get terrible stage fright. My stomach crunches up inside my belly. My hands shake. My voice shakes. Things we're going to speak about in class is the dialectic. And I'm going to teach you the history of speech in Greece and Rome. And what the dialectic is all about is actually lots of different voices coming together to have a new truth or a new information that's more valuable than all of those voices separately. And we'll also get into a lot of that in debate. When we uh, actually listen to each other's different sides of different topics and then bring those ideas together. So that is a very interesting, great point. Thank you, Alan. Um, some of the other things that we're gonna talk about are eye contact, uh, projection, body language, gestures, uh, humor, and connecting with your audience. So we're gonna we're gonna cover lots and lots of different details. Yes. Yes. In, in uh, school, I I like my teacher called me like we could do like. Like hand language, I do it's called. Like we could do hand language. You could do, sorry, I'm missing that last word. Like, like, like using, I forgot what it's called, but like using your, or, and then make, making like, like signals. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Those are the gestures. So there's lots of different gestures that you can use when you're speaking. Um, if you've ever watched uh, Justin Trudeau or any of the political leaders, you'll see that they use very intentional gestures and they convey certain different points. And we're gonna study all of those gestures and how people perceive them. In fact, we're gonna play a game about that today. So that's a great point. How you move your hands, your body, how you, how you sit or stand, all of these are part of your public speech. So we talked a little bit about what is public speaking. What do you think makes a good public speaker? Top three. Let's let's do a little survey and see what we can come up with. If you could put three things that you think every single amazing speaker on the planet needs to be good at, what would you say that they are? You yes, have to Amy. be confident. Confidence. Okay. What else? Um. And you need a loud voice. Positive attitude times two. I heard. Also have eye contact. Eye contact. Great. I I think you, you, you need to, to add D, D2 effects. D2 effects. No, details. Details. Details, effects, absolutely. And facts. And facts. Details and facts, absolutely. There's actually a whole unit of our class that talks about details and facts and researching and informative speeches. So thank you. That's a good one. What else? Who else has some ideas? I see Lena's got her hand up. So in my opinion, the top three things that make a good public speaker might be eye contact with the crowd, engaging the crowd, and positive words. Engaging the crowd, yes. Absolutely, thank you, Lena. How about you, Daniel? I don't think I raised my hand. What is oh, that? Maybe what? it's just up. How about Cheng Cheng Yun? Cheng, it's Cheng Cheng Yun. Sorry. Uh, 
I think in public speaking, you need to use a positive attitude. Uh, take deep breaths if you really need to. Control yourself. Mm -hmm. Be confident and uh, try not too much to have a stage fright. Yes. Or at least if you have stage fright, those deep breaths are going to come in handy. It's hard to tell yourself don't have stage fright, Heather. It's it's just there. But there's lots of things you can do to, to manage that stage fright. Absolutely. Sally. Um, I think that you should have detailed sentences to say and that you should have eye contact and try not to have stage fright. 